Good morning you guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel and um, you guys are going to follow me around today and see what I do in a day. What I'm going to eat, um, the workouts that I'm going to do and um, so we're getting started now. Um, I'm so tired. I end up sleeping in today because um, my body is just exhausted. So I'm running a little bit behind schedule, but right now we are going to meditate, get my mind right, everything starts in the mind, so, and then after that we're going to cook some breakfast, alright, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm back, finished my meditation, I'm having my morning tea, meditation makes me extraordinarily tired. <laughs> I was already tired when I woke up so this is at the time when you have to really push yourself and uh, so I'm gonna push myself and I'm gonna make some tofu which is not my traditional but since I have some tofu in the fridge in the refrigerator and I don't want it to go bad so I'm gonna cook it today and I'm going to make it with some brown rice wrap with some black beans. So let's get started. Okay, right here I have onions, I have garlic, I have black beans, I have the light firm tofu, I have tomatoes. So I didn't use any oil because the tofu has enough water so it won't stick to the pan. So I'm just going to stir this in and I just stir everything together um, and then I let it cook kind of hard because I don't like I don't like soft tofu <laughs> I mean I don't like it really soft and we're just going to let that cook a bit all together all right and I'm gonna come back when this is kind of like almost done because I normally add my spices last and I have um, pink Himalayan salt of course, I have my cayenne pepper to give it a kick. Um, I have a little bit more garlic salt. I have some Mrs. Dash. And I have some parsley flakes. Parsley flakes. <laughs> Gosh. And of course, we're going to give it a Caribbean kick with some curry. So yeah, we'll be back. Okay, we are back and our tofu is looking great and we're going to add our spices. We're going to add some Himalayan sea salt. Yes. And we're going to add some cayenne pepper. A lot of that. I like my stuff spicy. A little bit more garlic salt. And Mrs. Dash. Let's just stir that. Look like all the water is draining out. Which is good, that's the way I like it. Yeah, perfect. And we're going to add some parsley flakes. Um, if you have fresh parsley, that's always better, more flavor. And we're going to add some hot curry. A lot of that. 
I love curry. It's going to give it that yellow, eggy look. But <laughs> at the rate that it is, like a yellow black look with my beans. So, <laughs> but it's all good. Tastes awesome. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, that looks great. I'm just going to stir that in real good. And I have my brown rice tortilla. So what I normally do is just, I'll just sit this right on top. So it can, the uh, steam from the food can like heat up the taco. I mean the tortilla. Yeah. So we'll just flip it on both sides. Make sure it get nice and warm. Flip it again. <laughs> yep. And that is, look how pretty that looks. Mm. Wow. So this is the end result. I just topped that with some vegan mayo and some lettuce and this is my pre-workout meal. So I'm about to wrap it and see what this tastes like. Mm, I haven't had one of these in such a long time. Um, this was not a part of my contest prep <laughs> for the whole summer. <laughs> So yeah, this looks awesome. Mmm. It is good. Mmm. Mmm. One thing about this brown rice wrap is it breaks up easy. Very tasty. <laughs> trying to think if I need something else to fuel my workout because it's leg day. Yes, you guys, it's so beautiful out here. I am on my way to the gym. It is 1.32 and I am so far behind schedule. But, I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna take my time and do what I need to do. Things just have to get delayed. Because if you're rushed, you're not really gonna enjoy the time spent. And that's not good. So, everything else is just gonna have to wait. But yo, it is so nice. I wish I, I could've went bike riding today. Or something nice. Not that legs isn't nice, but I love bike riding. You know, it's so beautiful. If you're mad today, you're evil. If you wake up and you're mad today, <laughs> Nah, just joking. But for real, if you wake up and you're mad today, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> you got to check yourself. But anyway, we're going to Crofton Goes Gym. They pimped out their gym. So they got all the latest equipment that Richie Station has. So, seeing that my time is not that great today, I'm just going to go to Crofton, which is maybe like 10 minutes up the road, as opposed to going all the way down to Richie Station. 
Um, yeah, because when my man come home, he gonna want something to eat. Da 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 da. And I haven't fixed him anything, but he's gonna have to wait. Um, this evening, I think I'm gonna make some vegan enchiladas. I saw a very good recipe last night on YouTube, and I never made it. So I think that's something he'll like. Um, he's so picky. Oh my gosh, he's like the most pickiest man on the earth. So this is a gamble. <laughs> But then he gets tired of stuff fast. So I'm like, you don't like half the stuff. I don't know, it's such a mystery. Anyway, I think he'll like it. He likes anything with red sauce and cheese, vegan cheese, so I don't think I can go wrong. So yeah, but he's gonna have to wait until I get home. And then I don't like rushing. I really don't. I like to take my time, prepare my meals, you know. Time but my own, so yeah. Even working out, if I have to stress out and rush, I'm like totally miserable. Oh, it's just not. A Sorry, I have some tea in the car. If it's in one of these little cups, I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't spill over. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you in the gym. Today it is quad dominant. So I normally do two leg days. One is quads, one is hams. And hamstrings will be with my trainer, Malachi McCoy. So yeah, and that's on Fridays. So even though my legs hurt today from bike riding, I'm still gonna go in here and um, try to kill it. So yeah, so doing this bulk, um, I'm eating more calories, so that means I gotta go hard. Let me put my window open so you guys can hear me. So yeah, I'm eating more calories, which means I gotta go harder and uh, to utilize these calories. So yeah, so I'm lifting as heavy as I can for the rep range that um, that I want to do for the day. So my rep range is probably between eight and 10. I'm trying to really build more muscle. In my last show, one of the judges um, told me that I need to bring my quads out a little bit more. So that's what I'm working on. So in order to do that, it's gonna be close grip, I mean close placement squats and um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on today. Actually, we kind of do both close and wide um, at the same time, so. Well, not at the same time, but <laughs> different sets. <laughs> First, I'll do wide and then I'll do close. You'll see, you'll see. And um, yeah, so like I said before, We'll see you at the gym. I'm just ranting on and on. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. I woke up feeling really tired, but now when I came outside, the sun just gave me so much energy that I can't even stop talking. What's up? So I'm in Gozen right now. About to um, do some squats. And before we do that, we gotta put our belt on.
make sure we got some good music. <laughs> Straight up reggae day. <laughs> Bam. goodness I'm finished my leg workout that was a serious workout uh, feels good my legs are burning and they are full of blood <laughs> for the muscles and now I'm headed to the grocery store because I'm gonna make something special for my sweetie my sweetheart and I don't know if I would be indulging in these because they look like it'll be a lot a lot of calories but we'll see. I may have one little small one. Um, or I may just go to Sweet Green and give me a salad. Normally I do a salad in the evening. Um, I don't really eat a whole lot at night. Um, so yeah, just eat fruit and salads basically at night. I eat the bulk of my calories before and after my workout. So you'll see what I'm going to do post-workouts. So yeah, so I'll get at you when I get home. I got errands to run. It's got, he's always giving me errands. He got me dropping off boxes to the UPS. And I got to go to the store and get stuff for dinner. So, a woman's job is never done. You already know that. All right. Hey, you guys. I'm back. I'm in the kitchen. And before I start cooking these enchiladas, I am actually having some watermelon. One of my favorites. I think this may be the last one I have for the year because they're going out of season or well, they're already out of season so yeah but I had a couple that I got from the farmers market so I wanted to eat them and I love watermelon I was raised on watermelon so it's one of my favorites so I'm going to be starting my enchiladas in a moment just bring it down a notch I just came from the grocery store you know what I'm saying so I got some water I'm drinking and some watermelon and just sit down for a couple of seconds, you know, and then I will um, get to cooking this enchiladas. I will not be indulging in this because the, um, some of the ingredients are not like up to par for me, like the yellow corn tortillas, um, I would probably make my own I would like to make my own and then the um, the enchilada sauce has some stuff in it that you know mm -mm. I don't know I would rather make my own but this one's not that bad this one has water tomato puree modified food starch mmm that word modified is not really that great um, it has salt, vinegar, sugar, chili pepper, soybean oil, citrus acid, onion powder, red pepper, 
and natural flavor. Hmm. Natural, natural flavor could be anything. But my man is not that picky, so <laughs> we'll give this to him. And my mom, they're not that picky, so. And the corn tortilla, this was the best one I could find. Um, the ingredients, um, hmm, yellow corn flour. I couldn't find any organic, so I'm sure that's probably genetic modified corn. <laughs> oh, cellulose gum. I have no idea what that is. Formaric acid, sodium proponates, and sorbic acid. Not a clue. Um, carbon methyl something, cellulose, calcium, and a whole bunch of other stuff I can't pronounce. <laughs> but out of all the tortilla, this was the best one. So, but like I said, they don't have a problem with it, but I just don't. I think I'll just make my own when I do decide to indulge in some enchiladas. All right, so I will get at you a little bit. Peace.
we're going to put those in the oven. Well, they're all done now. I'm going to put these in the oven for like maybe 15 minutes until it gets crisp. And uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> My first time making enchiladas, so 